Today on Toy Habits, we are taking a look at Cobra Commander's ninja bodyguard and assassin from the Arashikage clan, Storm Shadow, and we'll also be comparing him to the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Toy Habits. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits, and today we are taking a detailed look at the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Origins Storm Shadow figure, his weapons and accessories, and we are also comparing him to the Arctic Missions G.I. Joe Classified Series figure, both for scale and similarities. So let's get down to it. And let's start off like we always do by looking at the front of the packaging. And Storm Shadow comes in the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins packaging with Snake Eyes on the front. We have the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins logo on the side of the package here and we also have an action shot of storm shadow plus we see his accessories that he's packed with plus he's got two accessories that are packed on his back inside the package and on the side of the package it looks like we have snake eyes's initials which spell out se if i'm reading that correctly in a very cool snake animation there and on the back of the package, we have a few action poses where Storm Shadow is wielding his swords and carrying his bow. And also we see this action shot again, which is copied over from the front of the package. And let's first start out by looking at Storm Shadow's head sculpt. And there is a lot going on with his head sculpt. So let's first take a look at what parts are showing through the mask. And you can see his eyes. And I love that they put little whites in his irises there. So it kind of gives him a very cool look. And it looks like he is looking into the distance or looking at the sun possibly. And the whites in his eyes are reflecting something there. And I think the mask on this figure is beautifully done. There are a lot of textures that you can see up close. You have some defining lines in his head sculpt here. You have this gray part in his mask and you have some sculpting detail below his mask. And if you turn him around, it looks like he has some armor plating on the back of his mask. So a really, really decent head sculpt for a really basic figure for this assortment. And moving down to Storm Shadow's torso, you can see that he is well equipped with a nice piece of gray and white body armor, which is very interesting for a ninja. And you need protection in the chest and in the abdomen. And I love the way this body armor is sculpted and just the way it is portioned out. You have the Arashikage symbol on his chest plate here. And you also have some layering of the armor. And if we look to the side, you can see that this looks like a different piece than below, which is also a different piece than the white on the side of him there. So I really love the way this looks. And you can also see some strap detail here. And if we turn around to the back, we have another beautiful presentation of the armor from the back. And I really like the way this looks. It looks like it's a gear kind of coming into his back and it looks like it's attaching to his armor in different pieces. And I love the plating detail that they've given him on the back here. And taking a look at Storm Shadow's arms, his arms are symmetrical and they are both the same, but I'm gonna use both of them to show you some of the details here. So let's first take a look at his right arm. We have a gray glove with some forearm armor, which is very nicely sculpted. And if you move up the arm, you can kind of see a strap and you can see a piece of shoulder armor on his shoulder there. And if we move around to the left arm, if you look on the underside, you can see the texturing that they've added here and also some sculpting detail under his bicep just to give him a more defined look. And moving down to his waist piece, I think they did a fantastic job sculpting this entire piece. And you can see all of the texturing and sculpting detail here, along with all the pouches and his little belt buckle. And if you turn them around, you can get a great shot of the texturing and sculpting detail that they've added here. And it looks like there's rivets or buttons here, which I think is a cool effect. And the piece that's hanging down here, you can also see some texturing detail on these little pieces here and at this flat finish right down the middle and you get to see some more pouches up here as well as the sculpting detail that you can see on the other side here so i think all around this is my favorite piece on this figure and moving down to the legs i love the way that the legs are sculpted because it looks like he's wearing pants that are actually flowing into his boots so i love the layering effect that they've given here and the sculpting detail which really adds a lot of definition to the figure and it makes it look fantastic 
And moving down to the knee pads, I think they gave him a great set of knee armor here. And it just looks like it's doubled on top of each other. And you can see all the fine lines that they've given it here. And I just think it just completes the look from his pants flowing into his boots. And finally, taking a look at his boots, I love the way that these are sculpted and I love the black here because it kind of makes it look like he's wearing a black suit underneath all of his armor and his white ninja gear. And I love the way that the straps come around here and form his ankle and leg armor. And I love that the way it just kind of flows over his feet and I'm not really sure if he's wearing shoes or not. And this is a comment that I've made on the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow where we have the outline of his toes here in his boot, which I'm not sure if this is a boot or a shoe or not, but I think it looks really cool. And if you turn the figure around from the back, we have some texturing detail here as well as some more sculpting detail on the back. So overall, I think this is a great sculpt for a great figure for the basic figure line. And one last thing we'll take a look at before we move on to Storm Shadow's accessories is his articulation. Now, Storm Shadow's head is on a ball joint, so he does move around and swivel a little bit. And his arms also move up and down at the shoulders as well. There is some articulation here. There is articulation at the elbow as well. And if you move down to the legs, he does bend at the knee. And the way that his shin armor is positioned it actually hides the articulation joint, which is very nice. His feet don't move, but his lower leg swivels like so. And Storm Shadow comes with quite a few accessories. So let's first take a look at his swords and his sheath. And let's first take a closer look at his sheath. And it's a double sheath for a double pair of swords. And they've given it some sculpting detail here on both sides. And if you take the sword out, we can take a look at one of these and really the only thing that has some detail on it is the handle here so it's on the hilt and it's also connecting the blade to the hilt as well and it's pretty basic blade but it looks a lot better when it's in the sheath next up let's take a look at his bow and it is a plain white bow but they've given it some extra detailing here where we have some indentation and sculpting at the ends here and we do have some sculpting detail closer to the handle on both sides and we have the string connecting the two parts of the bow. And the last thing we'll look at is the quiver, and this is my favorite piece, and I love that they had put the Arashikage symbol on here, and it's not red, it just blends in with the grays in here, and it's very subtle. I do love the sculpting detail that they've added with the arrows, and I do love the black that they put on the arrows here, and you can see that it has a port that plugs right into his back and you can see some of the details on the sides as well. And equipping him with his swords, let me just demonstrate the action feature here. So if you twist him like so, you can get that effect where he is slicing into somebody. And again, I think when I showed you my review on the Baroness, if you twist him a little too far and you hear that click, he's not gonna return to center. So if you do that, just pop him back to center and you can twist him to your heart's content. And one last thing I will show you with his quiver and his sheaths, and his sheath actually plugs into his quiver here, which gives a really cool effect when all of his swords are in there, and you still have the port where you can plug it into his back. So let me show you Storm Shadow all geared up next. And here is Storm Shadow all geared up, and you can see his quiver and his sheath are plugged right into each other, and his quiver sits very nicely on his back, and there is a, just a small amount of clearance that you can see there, and he looks great holding his sword and his bow. All right, now let's compare this Snake Eyes Origin Storm Shadow to the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe Classified series, as I see a lot of similarities in the sculpts here and the weapons and accessories. So let's first start off with the bow sculpts. And it looks like they borrowed some ideas from the G.I. Joe Classified figure with the bow, although the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow does not come with a faux string. The bows look very similar to each other. And if we turn the figures around, 
around, you can see that the quivers almost look identical here, and it looks like they might have borrowed from the same mold, although the scale is a little bit different. You can see the symbols in the back here, and you can see the way that the swords and the sheaths hang off the quiver. And I went ahead and removed the Arctic Mission Storm Shadows hood, as this is the way I prefer to display him. And you can see the similarities in the head sculpts here, and you can see the similar lines that they have on both figures. And moving down to the waist pieces, you can also see a lot of similarities in the waist pieces here. And again, the scale is a little different. They didn't reuse a part from the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow to create this one, but they do look very similar. Very similar sculpting detail right down to all the pouches that they have running all around the figure, as well as the sculpting detail that they have here on the side and running down the middle of his back here. And finally, right down to the shoes and the shin armor, you can see the strap detail here really mimics the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow version and also the way that the feet are sculpted as well. And if you move them around to the back, you have a very similar styling of the feet and also the shin armor from the back. I think all in all, the basic Storm Shadow figure from this assortment rivals the G.I. Joe Classified series collection, and I really think that they did an amazing job with this G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Origins figure because it really looks like it could be from the G.I. Joe Classified series. If you're going to pick up a figure from the basic collection, pick up this version of Storm Shadow as you won't be disappointed. It honestly looks like this figure belongs in the G.I. Joe Classified series with the attention to detail, the fits and finishes, and the texturing that they put all over this figure. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button on your way out so you can get alerted to new reviews in the future.